hello guys and welcome back to my channel and this today is going to be the 250 subscriber special um, I just want to say a big thanks to everyone who commented in the video um, and yeah there's plenty of questions so let's get straight to them um, so question number one is what inspired you to start YouTube and that is from Tristan24 um, so what inspired me to start YouTube is um, like when I was younger I used to like make videos um, and you know I saw all these I was going to say football YouTubers you know make like football challenge videos and on the channel um, it sort of started like that um, and then my first video was a video of an empty cake on Stadium and Hill um, but yeah then I did like football challenge videos with my cousin and yeah it just sort of went from there really and you know we sort of stopped doing that and we went to go do like you know like watch alongs and preview and review videos like we've done recently um, so I will, I will say football challenge YouTubers for that answer for Tristan's question question two and this is also from Trist Tristan24 what videos do you plan to do in the future? Hmm. Like maybe, and I've done some like football match vlogs already, but um, I won't mind doing them again. You know, like going to maybe like bigger games, like a Premier League game or something like that, or a Champions League game maybe. Um, or I, yeah, or. I, hmm. I've had this idea for a while. Um, also, added on to Tristan's question, like a podcast channel um, for like championship, like load, get a load of championship fans, um, and like have like a weekly show on this podcast where we talk about championship, like how their teams are doing, um, like maybe other football stories we can talk about too. Um, so yeah, that's what I plan to do in the future. So question three, and this is from Tristan24 and Brandon. Um, what is my next YouTube milestone target? And yeah, we hit 250, and that is amazing. Um, you know, when I started this, I only wanted like 100. Um, so to hit 250 is amazing. Um, you know, maybe if we can get, I don't know, maybe 300 by Christmas maybe and then maybe like 500 in the next couple of years and um, that would be good um, and like anything more than that you know um, I know it's a bit far off but in like you know like five years I hit hope to hit a thousand so hopefully we can do that and then um, we're a quarter, a quarter of the way there um, so yeah anything more than that I'd be happy with so question four is from Brandon. Favourite sport that isn't football? Hmm. That's a very good question. Um, I think the only sport apart from football I only follow has to be rugby league. And um, yeah. I, I, I've been to a couple of rugby games, but I'm not that big of a fan. But there is one team I sort of like, you know, check the results is Hull FC um, so yeah I think for that question it would have to be rugby rugby league anyway not rugby union I can't stand rugby union um, it's got to be a rugby league um, question number five favourite moment supporting Hull City and that is a very good question from Honeygum so thank you for that question um, favourite moment hmm there's two things. Um, um, I was too young to see the whole city Bristol playoff final. Um, and it's two choices in my head. Um, it has to be either Derby away in the first leg of the playoff final. Because 
because Bramwell won 3 0 at Derby and they won like 4 or 5 0 in both games during the season. Um, it was just an amazing day out. It was sunny, it was, we obviously won 3 0. And um, yeah, thankfully, Andy Robertson scored and said goal later on. Otherwise, you know, in the second leg, they beat us 2 0, so who knows what would have happened um, if we hadn't got that extra goal. Um, or there was the playoff final in 2016 against Chef Wednesday, which was very good. Um, yeah, I finally remember. Well, my dad supported Chef Wednesday, and um, yeah, it was. You know, before we even got to the playoffs, he was joking about meeting in the final, and so it happened. And obviously, Diame with a wonderful goal. Um, yeah, or another favourite moment, you know, FA Cup final. Um, I know we lost, but you know, when we turned it up, I just couldn't believe it, you know. Um, it could have been three if we have had one cleared off the line. Um, but yeah, I think I'd have to go with Derby away as my favourite moment. Um, so, question number six favourite movie or TV show? And this is from Brandon. Um, I think I have to go to a TV show and it's a comedy programme which was on BBC Three I think. Um it's called Young Offenders and it's about two Irish lads um, who just, you know, mess about and sometimes it's gonna be funny, sometimes it's gonna be sad, you know. Um but yeah, it's very 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 good programme and I'd go re I'd recommend it if you haven't watched it. Um yeah, it's a very good T V show. Well, it's a series, but yeah. Question seven. One place I'd like to visit on Earth, and that is a very good question from Brandon again. Um, you know, being a football fan, um, in England anyway, I've been to Wembley, I've been to Anfield. Um, I won't mind going to one of the Manchester stadiums as well, but for this question, I'm thinking of like Spain, maybe like the new camp has always been a good ground. Um, I always want like to go there. Um, so yeah, I think I'd probably say that. Um, question eight, and favorite Hull City player I've seen play, and this is from Hoonigan. Um There's a couple of players that I'd have to say for this one, but I think I'm deciding on one. And you know, we've been Hull City fan. I think many people would have seen this coming. And I'm gonna to have to say Jared Bowen. Um, you know, he was very good with Hull, and he's doing very well at West Ham. Um, well, since he got injured, so I hope he gets better soon. And yeah, Jared Bowen for Hull City was just amazing. You know, every time he got it on that left foot, and. He looked up to the top corner, he could see what was going to happen, and he did score some very important goals. He won his games, and um, yeah, he was a very good player. And I hope he gets an England call up soon. Um, so yeah, following on for that question, question number nine favourite Hull City player of all time? Now, I'm not going to go for Jared Bowen on this one. And um, there's a Brazilian who's lived for us called Giovanni, and um, you know, he has. Brilliant goals against Arsenal and Tottenham, um, especially the Arsenal one was a brilliant goal. Um, so yeah, he's going to have to be my favourite player of all time. A very good player indeed. And yeah, um, question number ten. We have got the High Brigade and um, go subscribe to him if you haven't already. And um, he's saying either peanut butter or jam. Um, well, you know. I'm allergic to one of things, which is peanut butter, so um, I think the obvious answer for this one is going to be jam. Um, um, and yeah, that is it. That is the 250 subscriber special Q&A video done. I um, hope you guys have enjoyed. Um, please leave a like, comment, um, comment any more questions. And if there's enough questions in the comment section of this bit, then I will do a part two of this 250 subscriber special video. Um, 
see and don't get to subscribe we're trying to move away from 250 now we'll be now 250 for a little bit I get 300 and then by you know Christmas would be good even by my birthday would be good to be honest with you and um, in July so yeah hope you guys have enjoyed it I've been Kamosta and I'll see you again in the next video peace